The long night has begun. Huge solemn crowds line Palace Plaza in Thede, the capital of Naboo, as six beautiful white gualars draw a flower-draped open casket bearing the remains of a beloved senator through the triumphal arch, her fingers finally and forever clasping a snippet of japar, one that had been carved long ago by the hand of a nine-year-old boy from an obscure desert planet in the far outer rim. On the jungle planet of Dagobah, a Jedi master inspects the unfamiliar swamp of his exile. From the bridge of a star destroyer, two Sith lords stand with a sector governor named Tarkin and survey the growing skeleton of a spherical battle station the size of a moon. But even in the deepest night, there are some who dream of dawn. On Alderaan, the prince consort delivers a baby girl into the loving arms of his queen. And on Tatooine, a Jedi master brings an infant boy to the homestead of Owen and Baru Lars. Then he rides his Eopi off into the Jundland wastes toward the setting suns. The dark is generous, and it is patient, and it always wins. But in the heart of its strength lies weakness. One lone candle is enough to hold it back. Love is more than a candle. Love can ignite the stars. <laughs>